All right, let's talk aero wheels because Tesla has this history of just making these gorgeous, super futuristic cars that look amazing, and then they kind of ruin them by putting these aero wheels on them. They serve a purpose, but they're not that great to look at. And we all know about, you know, the Model 3 aero wheels, and if you're an OG like me, you might even remember that the first gen Model S also came with an option for aero wheels. Well, behind me, we have the world's most popular Tesla in its longest range, with its 19 inch aero wheels. Now, these are ugly, but they do serve a lot of good purposes. So let's start with that. They are more efficient, are more durable against potholes, they protect against curb rash better, and the best part is they actually last longer. These are how we typically would configure all of our Teslas with the basic aero wheel option. But what if I told you guys that you can get all the benefits of aero wheels and possibly even more range than what Tesla offers. Well, today I wanna to tell you guys about these wheel covers, which this video is not sponsored by. Um, we just really, really love these wheel covers. So we just unboxed, this is the laminar set for the Model Y for more metrics. Um, you can see how good this looks when you just kind of look at it next to the Tesla ones. This is a lot prettier. So we're gonna get this ready so that we can snap it on. To me, the coolest part is that Rometrics was originally a Kickstarter formed by Tesla owners wanting efficient but sporty wheels. A few years back, we installed a set of their Orbitals on our Model 3, and those wheels became such a hit in the Tesla space that Rometrics rolled out a Model Y version for those less attractive 19-inch stock wheels. These are more efficient, they cover existing curb rash, and took me about a minute each to install, and I'll share the data momentarily. Before we dive in, big thanks to CCF for partnering with me again this year. This is their eighth straight year raffling off a Tesla of your choice, a paid for Cybertruck when that drops, or $50,000 cash if that's what you prefer. The Chicago Chesed Fund is as good as any organization gets. They're nonprofit, they've been around for more than 35 years servicing the Chicagoland area. Your money goes directly to helping those going through hardship, providing goods and services, job assistance, fertility treatments, and so much more. The drawing is just a few weeks away and less than 10,000 tickets are being sold, so your odds are better than most. Use code KIMJAVA for $25 off when buying two tickets. Support this nonprofit in one of the longest running Tesla raffles at the link below or go to ccfraffle.com and enter code KIMJAVA for your discount. All right, let's get back to it. So the first step is really to just like take off these ugly aero covers. Now check it out. You can see there's been some curb rash on this Model Y. It looks like it's been painted over. And the beauty of these is it's gonna cover the curb rash. So let's go ahead and just like take these off. Now this is the part where I always feel like I'm breaking the car. That was actually easier than I thought. Clean these off a little bit to avoid any further scratching. There are some scratches there because look at the Tesla Aero ones. Check it out, metal. Metal and metal is never a good idea. These ones don't have any metal, so they're not gonna scratch the way the Tesla ones do. So I'm just basically gonna line it up with the little nozzle here. Um, you can kind of see there's a little cutout. It just pops right on. There we go. So that one is already in. Now the last step is just to pop this into place and it will secure it. Now if you want a Tesla logo, this one has the Metrics logo, but our Model 3 has the T on it. We'll link below where you can get that. Um, but this is just gonna lock everything in. It was that easy and what an improvement. I mean, that's amazing, right? Now that it's on, like look at it here versus there. I mean, it looks so much better. You can see the calipers, it covers the curb rash. It looks sporty. It's like, why didn't Tesla just do this from the start? I don't know, it just blows my mind. I think it's a no brainer though that this looks better than that. And the fact that this possibly has you know, better performance than that is like, whoa, that came off in one snap. Our Model 3, I don't know if you guys remember, I had the hardest time taking them off, but I think I've improved or I've gotten stronger. All that Peloton workout, really see the damage. So let's just go ahead and cover up the damage. 
here's this. Make sure everything's lined up and <laughs> literally it just pops on. I mean, it's ridiculously easy. Okay, this secures it all in place. Once again, I mean, if I can do that, anyone can. Tests under various conditions compared model wise 19 inch stock wheel covers to ones without covers and also these rometric laminars. In almost every environment, the rometrics outperform Tesla's by a slight margin, with an overall small efficiency gain to add to its sportier look while covering previous damage. I personally love that Rometrics is US based and out of Ohio. These only use US source materials. So if you end up damaging one, it's both fast and cheap to replace. If you're interested, Rometrics was kind enough to extend a discount valid until August 21st. Just use code JAVA40 for $40 off a full set or $10 off replacement wheel covers. Check them out at Rometrics.com and use code JAVA40 for your discount. All right, I just got my hands a little bit dirty, but that was pretty easy. I'm gonna go inside and take a shower, get dressed before we start the fun. All right, so we have the wheel covers on all four wheels and we wanna go test this baby out. So we're gonna take it a place a Tesla has never been. We are going to the upside down. So if you guys are Stranger Things fans like we are, you might know that it's filmed here in Atlanta. We have a fun day planned where we're gonna go see some of the sites where it's filmed with our Tesla. Let's go. We just programmed in all the places that we plan on going into waypoints of the car. You can kind of see all here. Pretty easy to do this, although it will probably take the entire day. <laughs> do you ever feel like losing your mind. Hey Landon, do you ever feel like you're losing your mind? On a daily basis. All the time. We're driving by these things, they say solar powered on them. We thought, wow, that's really cool. And then we realized they're production rentals. So we think that they may actually be going to the set of Stranger Things right now. Fire to another night. I don't get the big deal. Just talk to Eddie and get him to move Hellfire to another night. What I love about this store is that they've owned their Stranger Things connection. They have all the memorabilia up here. I'm actually sitting on the post of where the sign for Palace Arcade was once spinning around on the show. Behind me is Palace Arcade. This is where Whale saw like the first vision of the Upside Down after season one. Because he was so like kind of, kind of connected to the Upside Down. He saw the vision like uh, the Mind Flare was out there. And it's actually open like it looks like somebody has I don't know they did it before we were here so it's not our fault that we're gonna go inside Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like as videos like this take lots of time and effort. And if you're a fan of Stranger Things, be sure that you're subscribed because we're working on a more detailed vlog of this trip where we go behind the scenes at various filming locations. We logged nearly 200 miles for the day on these Rometrics wheels and it ended up with slightly higher efficiency than Tesla stock wheel covers over the lifetime of this Model Y. Thanks again for your support and catch you next time. And I'm just like sliding down here. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay. I gotta use some muscles there. Alright. So the first step is really to just like.